Snow, snow, <laughs> Oh, the air is so crisp. It's like putting your head in a frozen pizza section at the grocery store. <laughs> ah, okay. ah. 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 <laughs> it tastes like pine flavored cotton candy. It really does. <laughs> oh, snowballs. Here, watch this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, an abominable snowman! No, you get out of here, snowman! Who am I? Where am I? I was uh, dreaming of a. White Christmas? What is happening? Very Merry Christmas. Yeah, can you believe that it's Christmas Eve? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. I'm so excited. Yes, indeed. Hey, what should we do to kick off this show? Well, it's probably our last day on the Advent calendar. Yeah, the yeah. Advent calendar? What's the Yes, Brandon, we had a special Advent calendar we had custom made, full of fun games and challenges and all kinds of surprises for each day of the month of December from the 1st through the 24th at 
We, we forgot! forgot. <sighs> How can we forget the advent calendar? What, what are we gonna do? I don't know, I guess we'll just have to save it for next year. <sighs> no! I... Or... Do, do all, all of them, them right, right now! now. John and Brandon cram 24 days of fun and whimsy into a single day Christmas Eve spectacular spectacular! All right, here we go. Day one. Open it, open it. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Day one. <sighs> Welcome to the first day of your Advent adventure. Well, not really. <laughs> well, it is the first day of our Advent adventure. True. As we build the anticipation of Christmas, we must show patience. Compete to see who can move 10 mini snowballs from one cup to another first using only a spoon and no hands. Mini snowballs? Ah, no, oh, well, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, I guess we uh, should begin, huh? Okay. All right, here we go. Ready, uh -huh. shut, go. Oh. That took a little longer than I thought. Uh, there's 24 of these? Well, nah, 23 now. <laughs> we better get moving. Okay. All right. Day two. Take a bite of this fruitcake. What fruitcake? Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I love a, um, a glass of milk. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, uh, we really do have to pick it up here, so let's move on to day three. Oh, oh holy night, night, the stars are brightly shot. Mm. All right, John, pin the nose on Rudolph. Septums. Three, three earlobes. Sounds like, sounds like three. Rise? Three, three, three wise! Three wise! Three wise! Three wise men! Mm. Mm. No! I win! Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. It's too hot. It's too hot. The ox and lamb kept time. Little drummer boy. Yes. Point, oh. point, 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 point. God rest ye merry gentlemen, ha, ha, let nothing ha, you ha, dismay. Ha, ha. I'm gonna make you sore afraid. Angels we have seen on strike. <laughs> I'm singing and I'm I'm in my basement and I'm singing! Yeah! Point! He'll be fine. 
We did it! Yeah, just one more. Oh, it's gotta be a good one for the last day. Oh, oh yeah, that, it's we gonna go. be great. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. I'm so excited, all right. Mm. Congratulations, Yay. you made it on the last day. Finish your fruit cake. It's Bible story time. Hey, how's it going? Fantastic. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Did you want some fruitcake? Oh, I already had some, but you can never have too much fruitcake, am I right? Yeah, right. You got a Bible story for us today? I do, but I'm going to need a little help. You all up for it? Absolutely. Oh, and I don't think we've met. What's your name? Elf number two. What happened to elf number one? You don't talk about elf number one. Oh. Elf number two, do you think you could help out as well? I'd love to. I love Christmas. <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's get ready for a very special Christmas edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. Our story today is from the book of Luke, and it's the Christmas story. Even if you've heard it before, you may not have heard it quite like this. On the night Jesus was born in the little town of Bethlehem, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, an angel of the Lord appeared to them. Oh! Ah! Do not... Ah! Do not... Ah! Do not... Ah! Isn't that your line? I'm trying. Are you finished? I think so. Do not no! No! <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. Whoa! Would you look at that? May glory be given to God in the highest heaven. And may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. Nice. Thanks. The shepherds couldn't believe what they'd just seen and heard. They just got a front row seat to the birth announcement of Jesus. The shepherds weren't considered special. They weren't rich or powerful. They were sleeping in the fields with their sheep. But God wanted to give this incredible message, not to kings or queens or the religious leaders first. God wanted to give it to a group of shepherds. When the angels left, the shepherds had a choice to make. Oh boy, <laughs> can you believe it? The savior of the world. <laughs> hey, everybody, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Yeah, sounds good. You got it, Phil. Okay, Bethlehem. Um, Beth Bethlehem. Come on. I'll race you guys. Here we go. go. <laughs> The shepherds went to Bethlehem and found the baby just as the angel had told them. They found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in a manger. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, right. Uh, sorry. sorry. Would you look at that? Come on. We got to tell everyone about this. The shepherds were amazed, and they couldn't keep it to themselves. The news was just too good. Gotta send a savior. A savior is born? Yes! Woohoo! Oh, good news, good news. Oh, what is the good news? God has sent a savior for the whole world. That is good news. <laughs> oh, oh, God has sent a savior. Surely not for me. Yes, yes, for you. For me? Yes. The Savior is for the whole world. God's love is for everyone. That is good news. Come on. God loves you. God 
Mom is such a savior for the whole world. She's telling the truth. Good news. Great news for the whole world. Yay. And that's the Christmas story. I know that was kind of a wacky way to tell it, but I think it's great to hear the story this way. Hearing that God's perfect love is for everyone should give us limitless joy. It was good news over 2,000 years ago, and it's still good news today. The end. That's a great story. Yeah, that was fun. Absolutely. Whether you just heard the story for the first time or whether you heard it for the hundredth time, it doesn't matter. It's important to be reminded of just how much God loves us and what the season is all about. Thanks. Hey, Merry Christmas to you. And to you. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. I just love how the shepherds took the good news to the world. Yeah, I mean, they had been shown God's love, and, and when you've been shown God's love, you, you have to share it yourself. And that goes for us too, right? Absolutely. Reveal the question. How can you share God's love this Christmas? Uh, maybe you can be kind to your younger cousins that always feel left out at Christmas. Yeah, or maybe you can bake some cookies and take them to people that have to work during the holidays to let them know they're not forgotten. Yeah, there are so many ways you can share God's love, so talk about it. Yeah, and then share it. You still have to finish your fruitcake. No. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, have a Merry Christmas. And we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. No, thank you. No. Mm. I want it. Um, I'm trying not to eat uh, periodic elements. You have some. No, yeah, you eat some. Go for it. Go for it. It's an elf treat. <laughs> uh huh, not great. Are you allergic to nuts by any chance? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> no more. Make it stop, please. Ha 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 ha!